Yeah, this actually, these pictures illustrate very well the beauty of this enhanced image on the right side of the screen. This is a typical read I might have when I'm reading uh, these cases determined if it's a gradable photo. And you can see on the left, the color photo, you really don't have a great clear view of the macula. It's rather obscured. And oftentimes, one has to make the decision. This is probably ungradable because if there's a clump of edema or lipid sitting in that shadow, I wouldn't be able to detect it. But the enhanced image does a great job of really uncovering, if you will, the possibility of lipid underneath that shadow you see emanating from the disc towards the macula on the color photo. So this is why I love the Iris platform, unlike other platforms that I do read for, the Iris platform has this feature that I think makes much more of the photos gradable. And I think the statistics you see there, that it's 96 and 98% gradable, uh, really speaks for itself. Uh, this is one of the great things about the Iris platform is this enhanced image. So uh, I find it to be uh, really easy. These images are set right next to each other. So you're able to compare just like you haven't presented here and you can uh, areas you're concerned about on the color photo, you can really zoom in on the enhanced image. And that's one of the features as well that we'll probably talk about more is that I can click on any part of that photo, which will enhance, magnify that portion of the photo, which enables me to interpret these uh, more confidently. Um, th this is Ron. Um, I think gradability is really something that's very important. Um, we've got to realize that at least um, for the most part, what we're talking about is obtaining these images in non-eye care settings. So these aren't ex you know, initially experienced ophthalmic photographers or technicians. These are people present in primary care docs offices and others. Um, so the key really is it's very important to get gradable images. If you don't have an image that you can evaluate then it's really done you no good, um, and that patient from a resource standpoint is now going to need to go to an eye care professional, take off work, get there, you know, get evaluated in the report, get back to primary care. So we do everything that we can to minimize um, the, 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 the number of ungradable images. It, it starts with picking the right camera um, that can, can facilitate the, the uh, camera operator being able to be as, as, as successful as possible. We do intensive training um, both initially and um, down the road um, as, as, as is necessary to make them as, as competent as we can. Uh, the enhancement you've talked about, I think it's very important. Um, and lastly, um, the great, uh, based on the greater platform, um, and, and Dr. Martinez may want to come about, comment about this, when we can identify that there are specific op camera operators where gradability is a problem, we can identify them and then close that loop to go back to, to, to make sure that we can do everything we can to make sure that we get a gradable image as often as possible. 